All right, here's the box. Opening it up here. Oh, oh, <laughs> look at that. It's so beautiful to look at. Hey everyone, Chad Wild Clay's birthday is this month. And with everything he's been going through, I want to find my brother something extra special for his birthday. So, since he loves comic books, especially Spider-Man, I figured what better place to look for a gift than a comic book store. So I'm at Source Comics here in Minnesota, and they have a lot of fun gifts that I think might fit the mark. Let's go take a look. Oh wow, yeah, they got lots of cool stuff here. These busts of Miles Morales as Spider-Man and the Green Goblin are pretty sweet. The Green Goblin is one of Spider-Man's oldest enemies, first appearing in Amazing Spider-Man number 14 in 1964. Yeah, all these statues are really cool. Let's see what they got over here. Maybe there's some comic books we can find them. Source Comics is here in Roseville, Minnesota. They've been around since 1989. They have a nice selection of both new and back issue comic books. A back issue just means an issue that was published in the past. Ah, here's some Spider-Man comic books. Amazing Fantasy. The first appearance of Spider-Man was an Amazing Fantasy issue number 15, which came out in 1962. Back then, you could pick up a copy for 12 cents. If you have an issue today, in decent shape, it could be worth a half a million dollars. <laughs> and no, that's definitely not Amazing Fantasy number 15. Here are some older Amazing Spider-Man issues from the late 80s and early 90s. This was the era when Chad and I first started collecting comic books. This one looks pretty cool. You know, Chad already has like tens of thousands of Spider-Man comic books. So, I'm not sure which one I should get them. Let's take a look and see what else they have. Oh, here's some cool Spider-Man graphic novels. Looks like they have a Carnage. Looks like a piggy bank. Carnage piggy bank. Maybe. The Vulture, another of Spider-Man's original enemies, even predating the Green Goblin. The Vulture first appeared in The Amazing Spider-Man number two in 1963. Source has Star Wars statues too, including a nice set from The Mandalorian, right in time for season three, which just started at the beginning of the month. Every once in a while, back issues will be republished as reprints. The Punisher made his debut in Amazing Spider-Man number 129 in 1974. This here is just a reprint, $3.99. The original was 20 cents and today is worth a couple thousand bucks in the right condition. Another awesome Green Goblin statue. Hmm, perhaps Chad could use another box for his comic books. I like the Venom artwork. Speaking of artwork, over here they have some cool framed comic prints. Ah, I think I found something. All right, found what I'm looking for. We'll check it out and I'll show you guys. All right, I'm excited to show you all what I got Chad for his birthday. But first, if you're watching on my new comic book channel, Casey's Comics, thank you for joining me and thank you for watching. Hit that thumbs up button and please subscribe. I really appreciate it. It helps out the channel. But as mentioned, Chad really loves Spider-Man. So when I saw this, I couldn't resist. This is the framed cover artwork by artist Mark Brooks of Amazing Spider-Man number 850. 
It has Venom on the cover with Bally and Spider-Man. I think it looks awesome. You can definitely see Mark's talent in there. I think it would go great on Chad's wall right beside his comic book collection. Mark Brooks, he's been drawing comic books for the last 20 years, both with DC and Marvel. And he's penned everything from, of course, Spider-Man to Ant-Man, Deadpool, Batman, X-Men, and even Star Wars. Now this is Mark's variant cover of Amazing Spider-Man number 850. If you're searching for it, you may find it with other covers. And for Marvel's legacy numbering system, as I mentioned, that's why it's 850, but you may also see it sold as volume five, issue number 49. Frankly, I think it's confusing moving back and forth between that legacy system and the volumes. I prefer they just use the old school system and call it issue number 850. So an Amazing Spider-Man number 1000 comes out, for example. I hope they just keep it as number 1000. I think it's cooler that way. Now, since it's a variant cover, it's actually not about Venom in this issue. It's actually about the return of the Green Goblin and Spider-Man's battle with Sin Eater. So maybe I should have picked up that Green Goblin statue too that I saw at the comic book store. All right, leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think Chad will like it. If he doesn't, maybe I'll keep it for myself. All right, well, time to get this packed up and sent to my brother. Ah, before I close the box, my kids wanted to make special birthday cards for their Uncle Chad. It looks like a cake in the middle. Ooh, Spider-Man. All right. All right, got it all boxed up in here. Let's go take it and ship it. Three days later. All right, so it's three days later and per the tracking and the package, it has arrived. So I'm gonna wait his call. A few moments later. Oh, he's calling now. Okay, I'm gonna switch to my computer. What is up, Casey? Hello, Casey. Hey, Chad. Hey, Daniel. Good to see you guys. So happy early birthday, brother. Nice mustache. Here, show, show these v, look. Look at the facial hair my bro has. Wow. <laughs> v, let me film. Oh. Right. There you go. <laughs> hey, V. Hi, Casey. You got one of, one of these. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thanks for sending me the birthday present, Casey. Hey, you're welcome, brother. Let me open it up here. I pre-opened it yeah. for you, Chad. Oh, you pre-cut it for me? Yeah. Nice. All right, here's the box. Opening it up here. Oh, what's this? Those are cards from Isaias and Eliana. Wow, Spider-Man! Spider-Man! Oh, yeah. Spider-Man, <laughs> Spider-Man, does whatever a spider can. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you I knew you'd be, you be excited by that. <laughs> All right, it says, Happy birthday, Chad, from Eliana, my niece. Let's open it up. Oh, Vanna White. Is really Vanna White. She worked hard Ooh, on that. Beautiful, beautiful. Whoa. Happy birthday, Chad, with a big old heart. CWC, love Eliana. Oh, and there's like a, a little cake, a birthday cake. Hope your back is good. Aw, <laughs> how sweet. Aw. Very sweet of her. Is it, oh, is that a present or it must be a present or a cake? Well, I guess it could be either one. Probably a present. <laughs> either one. <laughs> oh, cool. Thanks, Eliana. Another handmade card. Oh, yes. Ooh. It's from Isaias. To Chad from Isaias. Little birthday cake on there. Happy birthday, Chad. I hope you have a awesome birthday. CWC, boom, it's a birthday cake exploding. Yeah, I even included the swords in there. And look, there's even candles on the birthday cake. He thinks I'm five years old? <laughs> 
Just a few years young. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like how it's a 3D pop out birthday cake. <laughs> and now for the let's 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 we got the cards. We got it. We got to dig in here and see what kind of present I got. Oh. We got some bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. We knew you'd like Don't. bubble wrap, so we included plenty of it for you. All right, Casey. Pop, pop. Hope nobody Listen sees me my... getting freaky with my bubble, bubble wrap. wrap. You know what song that is? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. It could bubble wrap. That's Weird Al Yankovic. White, white, and nerdy. Yeah, I'm not white or nerdy. That's why I struggle. But well, with the song. I heard that. So oh. he, he, he that, put that, bubble wrap in his song. Yeah, in the song White and Nerdy, he's like, nice, hope nobody nice. sees me getting freaky. Hope no one sees me getting freaky. Something with <laughs> We went on a date with. He bubble has a wrap. relationship with bubble wrap. Doesn't he go pop 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 pop? pop, pop. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, let's see what's in here. Dun dun dun! Oh, <laughs> look at that. What is it? It's so beautiful to look at for the first time. Look what at is that. it? Look at this. Whoa! Spider-Man! Yeah. Spider-Man! Look at that! Venom Spider-Man versus climbing Venom. Up the wall. Do you know which comic book that's from? Oh! Oh! Trivia! This is from a comic book. Yep, it, it's a it's a variant though, so it's like one of I don't know ten different variants for that comic book. See. It's actually from Amazing Spider-Man number 850, which is actually like volume five, number 49. It's by artist Mark Ooh. Brooks. I think this is a, one of the variant issue covers of Amazing Spider-Man 850, if I recall correctly. I'm just kidding, my brother just told me that, so I pretended <laughs> I, pretended I do. <laughs> <laughs> we'll edit it, make it look like you knew that already. <laughs> no, I, I did not know that, wow. That, this is awesome, thank you brother, thank you. Thank yeah, you Casey. you're welcome. Whoa. I figured it would look great in your in your movie room or next to your comic book collection. So I hope I hope V appreciates it too. I think it'll look great in our bedroom, hanging above our bed. So, hey. v, so V can look at it every day when she wakes up. <laughs> Thanks, Casey. <laughs> You're welcome, V. I thought you'd like that one too. V, Sl Celeste actually helped me pick it out too. She thought you guys would like that. Thanks, Celeste. I don't know if it should go in our bedroom, though. I'll let her know. <laughs> you don't think it should go in our bedroom, V? No. Oh. And your comic book room's good. Well, thank you, Casey. This is awesome. What a great birthday present. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm actually, I'm checking to see if I have this comic in my collection. Amazing Spider-Man. Oh, see, it is sideways. Amazing Spider-Man 49F. Oh, so it's variant F, huh? Yeah, some people label the variants differently, So, but according to mycomicshop.com, they call it the variant F. So let me see if I have variant F. Amazing Spider-Man. So now I'm checking my spritz. Yeah, because I knew there were quite a few variants from when I looked it up. 49F. I do have this comic, 49F. Awesome. Mm. <laughs> I paid I paid six dollars for it. Cool. Too bad you're not at home. You can pull it out. That'd be freezing. <laughs> yeah, that would be cool. When I get back home to Las Vegas, I'll pull it out. Cool. Sounds good. Well, thank you, brother. Thank you for the present. It's very awesome. Thank you to Celeste. Thank you to Isaias and Eliana as well for the very nice handmade birthday card. You're welcome. I'll make sure I pass it along to them. Great. <laughs> Ooh, I think I see uh, Spider-Man 2099 issue number one back there with the red foil. Issue number one. Look at that. Back there? How did you spot it all the way back Wow. There? I think I can spot another one. I see an amazing Spider-Man number 362 back there as well. How do you see That's that, That's a 362. Yeah, see, this, this is the Carnage one. Yep, second appearance of yeah, Carnage. I, I, want, I want to get the first one for Carnage. I have part two, but I'm looking for, for part one. And that's 362, right? Yep, this is 362. I know my Spider-Man comics. Whoa. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> like an encyclopedia of Spider-Man. Yeah. <laughs> v, v, you knew that too, right? Yeah, V knew that. <laughs> yep. She, she's been reading all my comics. All right, brother. Well, I will talk to you later. All right, sounds good. Thanks, right. everyone. Bye-bye. Bye, Bye Casey. Bye. Bye. All right, well, I'm glad to see that Chad received his package and that he enjoys his gift. I think it really will look good on his wall. 
Be sure to leave my brother a happy birthday down in the comments, or of course, go over to his channel, Chad Wild Clay, and leave him a comment there as well. I'm sure he'll really appreciate it. And I really appreciate you guys watching this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, and leave a comment down below also, and let me know what you thought. This was a lot of fun to make, and I appreciate you watching, and I'll see you later.